Hey guys, welcome to fxhippo.com's latest tutorial, uh, matte painting and motion tracking with Mocha. So you've probably seen a little VFX very short I made, leave the car in your keys. If not, here it is. All right, so what we're gonna talk about today, um, we're not gonna go through to the final composited shot with the explosions, but we're gonna go through the steps of creating a matte line, as you can see, having that matte line tracked to the background um, so it moves with the image. Then we're gonna talk about replacing the background with other video image. And then we're gonna talk about replacing what the matte line obscures, top of the car, the, uh, the pole on the right-hand side, as well as the, the sign in, in the background. All right, so open it up After Effects. Now, as you can see, I'm using CS4 um, because CS5 is not really working happily with Mocha. So I'm gonna be using CS4 today. Okay, so here we have our, um, our two video elements, our background element, which will be our um, background replacement, and our main video element, which will be where the explosion occurs. All right. So what you want to do is grab the main video element, that one. Okay, so that's our main element. And drag that to the new comp button down here. Okay, so here we have our new composition. So let's rename it, enter matte painting mocha. Cool. Okay, so first thing we want to do is get some tracking with Mocha. So go ahead and open up Mocha. Um, this is version 2, which comes with CS5, but like I said, it's not working happily with CS5 at the moment, but it will work with CS4. Um, Alright, so come up here to create new project, choose, um, and go navigate to your raw video assets and choose the main video element. Open. Okay, leave all as is because it all detects it itself. Actually, so change the save location to um, the marker scratch. Choose. Okay, so we're ready to go. Replace. Yes. Okay, so with Mocha, what you want to do is create rough shapes around objects, which will then track it unlike the point tracker in After Effects which tracks single pixels. So what you do is you come up here to the Create X-Blind Layer tool and you draw a basic shape around what you want tracked. So I want to track this car. So let's draw a basic shape. And when you're done with your last point, right click and it'll close the shape. Then come down here to Motion. And for basic tracks like this, we want to track just translation, scale, rotation, not shear, not perspective. We'll get to those in a different tutorial. So go ahead and rename the layer you just made up here. Rename it BG Car Track. All right. So we're ready to track now. So what you do is you go to the beginning of the comp timeline, and you come over here to the track bar. Now you can either go you can either go frame by frame like in After Effects, or you can just track forward. So we're just going to track forward, but keep an eye on the track. All right, so the timeline is blue. That means Mocha is done tracking the entire timeline. So if we look through it, okay, look at this area here, these two points. Look where they are before the explosion, and now look where they are after the explosion. They've moved a little bit. So that's one example of what went wrong with this track. But we can remedy that by just before the explosion, move the two points a bit closer and then just retrack forward. There we go. All right. So one way to track uh, one way to check your track is to come over here to stabilize and click that. So it's locking what you just tracked to the center of the screen. So it gives a really cool interpretation of what you just tracked and it shows you that it's pretty solid in the center there. So the track is ready to go to After Effects. All right. So select that layer, BG Car Track, and export tracking data down here. 
and choose After Effects Transform Data. Copy to clipboard, then go over to After Effects. All right, so let's make a null object to paste the data to. So come up here to Layer, New, Null Object. Uh, rename that null object BG Car Track. Go to the first frame, so 0000, zero, 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 zero and Command V on that layer. So we just pasted the tracking data onto that layer. Now, this is an important step. On that layer, press U, uh, press on anchor point, delete it, right click, reset. So now your tracking data is ready. As you can see, it moves with the car. Okay. So uh, we're going to go back to Mocha later to track this sign and this pole here. But now what we're going to do is create the matte line. Now there's two ways to do that. You can either do it in Mocha version 2, but since CS4 uh, doesn't come with the Mocha shape plugin, I'm going to do it the old fashioned way, but it still you know, works just as good. So how do we do that? Well, let's go to the beginning of the comp and create a new black solid. So layer, new, solid, black. Okay. And now what I want you to do is press S for scale and scale that up to about 500. So it's huge. But that's what we need. All right. So now make that invisible. And the matte line is going to be about here. So let's draw using the pen tool and the roto bezier and selected the black solid. Then draw two points here just to lock the roto bezier there. And then just start drawing your matte line. Make it simple, not too complicated. Just straight off. And again, two points. And then let's just make a generous mat up here. Give it enough space because the camera will move. All right. Let's turn that on. Now we see we have a black mat line. But how do we make that invisible? And how do we make the background element that we have show through? Well, let's rename that. Let's call it the mat line. Okay, so what you do is let's put the car track above everything. Okay, so let's. So this is quite an important part. Take your background element and drag it under the matte line. Then, with the background element, you click down here and toggle switches and modes so you get track matte option. Um, and you come down here to the background element and select alpha matte. There we go. There we have it. Now we just need to line it up. So just remember, background element below the matte line, main video element at the bottom, and create an alpha matte on the background element. So it uses what we just made as a, uh, as a matte. So let's put the background, scale it down, because it is 1080p footage. So scale it down, it's about there. Maybe rotate it as well. R for rotate. Just a little bit. That looks pretty good. All right. Then what you want to do is using the car track data that we have, um, parent the background element to the car track. So what you do is you drag the pick whip to the car track, or alternatively you come down here to the parent drop box and you select background car track. So the background element is parented to the background car track. Now you need to do the same with the matte line. So you drag that pick whip to the background car track. So as you can see, uh, once we've done a bit of a ramp preview, the background and the matte is tracked to the camera movement. But one thing is missing. If we pause right there, you'll see that there's motion blur on the original video but nothing on the background video. So how do we fix that? Well, you come down here to toggle switches and modes until you get these options up. And you come to your background element and select the motion blur option. 
then you come up here to the composition uh, settings and enable motion blur it's the master motion blur switch so now that's motion blurred so it'll fit, mu fit much better once the camera starts moving okay and one last thing we need to feather the mask let's come over here and let's come down to matte line press F for feather then let's take that feather up a bit just a little bit like that okay so let's go fix up uh, this in Photoshop for the final matte painting so what we're gonna do is export this frame as a Photoshop layers file um, PSD and we're gonna fix the car's roof since it's getting attacked by the matte painting and we're also gonna fix this sign here so it pops up above the matte painting and then as well this little uh, this pole on the side here okay so just like that we're gonna go composition save frame as Photoshop layers now remember where you saved it so let's take that 122 just remember that, add that to the end. 1.22. And let's save it in our still assets folder. Save. I'll just press OK for that. OK, so go ahead and open up Photoshop. I'm using CS5 today. Switching between CSs, I'm sorry, but that's life. Um, here we go. OK. So file, open, and bring up folder, still assets, matte painting. Okay. Um, just one important thing before we keep going here. In After Effects, when you export your Photoshop layers, make sure quality is on full. Otherwise, the image will come out smaller in Photoshop. Okay, so we have our different layers, our BG element, our, um, our bottom layer. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to duplicate the main video element. So Command J and call that, rename that um, sign element. So let's start with the sign. So shut off the bottom layer, the main video element, uh, zoom in, hold on Alt and scrolly scrolly. Take the marquee selection tool, what is it, sorry, rectangular marquee tool, put it around the sign and go select inverse, zoom out, make sure the layer is selected, sign element and press delete. Alright, and command D to deselect. So let's zoom in back in. So the matte painting starts from about there, as you can see. That's what it cuts off. So what we want to do is pretty much the whole image just to raise the edges. So you guys can go ahead and do that, um, and I'll skip to when it's done. Speed erasing, yeah. All right, so we're done with the sign. So zoom back out and turn on the main video element. So there we have our extra sign. Um, if we put that above the matte line, you'll see that it pops up. So small adjustments we need to make. We need to um, take the rectangular marquee tool and just delete that gap there. Delete. And maybe some gap there. Delete. All right. And the top. And I believe deselect. Cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you're watching this as part of a playlist, you'll be taken to the second video. If not, here's a link to part two. Be sure to check out fxhippo.com, where hippos, uh, they, uh, they roam free. Hippos everywhere. Yeah.